So our opponents have multiple times attacked the relevance by saying both there's only we only have one high school study, as well as how does this affect us? This. My partner did Alan, who you've met, did a study saying that we Upper Dublin High School students do much more than the recommended two hours of homework each night. Now they kept on uh, attacking us by saying that we do fewer than two hours. However, I will quote Michael Fogliano on the other side by saying that Harris Cooper's uh, study showed that kids getting increasingly doing uh, kids are increasingly doing better until they have two hours of homework. Until two hours. If you do the math on the 10 times rule, which my partner and I suggested, seniors are the highest grade. 12 times 10 is 120. That's two hours. 120 minutes is two hours. That's why that is our plan. Harrison Cooper came up with our plan. Yeah. <laughs> my opponents also continuously spoke about preparation for the future. However, I don't know about anybody else, but my parents, my mother, used to teach, and my father works at a business behind a desk. He's very successful, but he does not bring home hours upon hours of homework or work every night. He does his work at work, comes home, he'll exercise, he'll eat, he'll be with his kids, he'll have fun. He'll watch TV, watch a ball game, fall asleep. This is how many other business people that I know also do it. This would be preparing us for the future, getting our work done at school and then not having a lot of homework. This is what we should be doing to prepare for the future. Not bringing home upwards of four hours of homework like some of, like some of the studies showed. And then doing that and not having any free time. We want homework and students are still going to get grades for it, but they're not going to have as much. And this will still balance out the possible bad test grades, which as our studies also showed, there would be less of if they do less homework. Without a doubt, homework is beneficial. But as is the case with much of life, a little bit goes a long way. Studies and tests by top professors and top schools prove that after a certain amount of time, homework is detrimental to a child's grade, as well as their physical and emotional health. The time spent on homework should be spent on exercise, eating, and conversing with family and friends, and reading for fun. By implementing the 10 times rule, this allows students the time to work and learn the proper amount while still having the time to have fun and be a kid. Thank you. Vote affirmative.